Hey y'all, I uh, thought I'd uh, vlog about something. Um, this morning I, I, I staged a picture for Facebook and I titled it Dark Jedi Rising, which is kind of an homage to, um, to Star Wars, to the, you know, Star Wars soap culture. And when I, uh, is it, I call it a fan pick. Um, I don't know, that term has probably been used before. Um, for, like, when a fan writes fiction that, you know, fan, I've heard of fan fiction, and, uh, like, if I, for instance, if you wrote fan fiction and you put a cover, it'd be a fan pick. It's not really, it's something related to it, but not really it. Um, anyway, when I, I looked at the, why did I even make that picture? That was my question. It begs the question. What do you make that? I don't know any very much, very little about Jedi or Sith. Except for Sith are the bad guys, Jedi are the good guys. Um, I'm not a big fan of Star Wars. As geeky as I am, I'm not a big fan. Some people, non-geeks non mostly, some geeks actually do this. They ask the question, do you like Star Wars or Star Trek? Like, the two can really be compared. I mean, they're totally... They're different. Trek and Wars, I even saw it debated on King of the Nerds. Come on, they don't relate. Just trump that. I mean, I, I got another vlog about why they don't relate. And it's a big thing in my story. You know, um... Okay. Here's two reasons why they really don't don't relate. One is is the spiritual aspect, the um, uh, the the non tangible aspect. You know, it's um, Star Wars is based on good versus evil, the Force. It's not a religious thing, but it is spiritual. You know, it's good the mystics. You know, yeah, it's. It's a mystical thing. Star Trek, on the other hand, does their bestest to be non-spiritual. You know, it's like, it's all scientific and scientifically grounded. And there is not this good versus evil thing. It's, you know, the it's social rights and all that, but th there's not the big good versus evil, dark versus light. You know, it's, it's, that separates a lot. I mean, it's very, very agnostic, um, almost atheistic, um, in, in Star Trek versus Star Wars, there's a belief system. Yeah, it's not God, it's the Force, but it, there's still a belief system. And that's, that's a big difference, you know, beliefs versus Facts. You've got the hard facts. Science people say. Um, okay. And the other major difference between the two um, separates fantasy from science fiction. It I think is place. Um, and okay, you see the the satirized beginning of the first old school Star Wars movie, A New Hope. Scrolling up in a, in the one of the first things it's uh, in a galaxy far far away. It's not grounded in a real location. This is a uh, it's a mythical location, and that makes it a fantasy. That's you know one of the defining features of fantasy is it's in its own world. One of the defining features of science fiction um, would be uh, where. Um, Star Trek is centered around Earth. It's Terra. It's, um, there's a big, even though this is three or four hundred years in the future, a lot of it's in San Francisco. That's a, that's a real place. So you've got location, you've got the spiritual aspect. Those two separate, they separate the two. Science fiction versus fantasy. The two are very separate, very different. They don't belong together. But, that being said, most of society puts them together. You look in bookstores, you see the SF section. It's, 
it's science fiction, fantasy, or it's speculative fiction, whatever you want to call it, but they lump them together. They might be on separate shelves, but they're still together. It's uh, non-geeky people equate science fiction and fantasy as being one genre. And I think, I believe in... Okay, doesn't matter that I believe it. it. It's true. The two are separate and don't need to be related. You don't... I mean, it's okay to like one versus the other, but it's... They, they're not relatable. I mean, it's just... They're, they're two separate things. It's like fitting a, fitting a round um, peg in a square hole. If you do, it's got to be really small. Like, okay, okay. See, it's round and the square, but in order to fit in that hole, it's going to be so big, and then, then there's going to be extra space that it just okay. That did make a lot of sense, I know, but it doesn't fit. This is what I'm saying that doesn't fit right. I mean, it, it's not a, okay. I got to get back to my topic. My topic was why I stage pictures of me as a dark. Ooh. Um, I don't know anything about the, uh, uh, I don't know very much about Star Wars. Um, the first trilogy, which is actually the middle trilogy, which is weird. I've seen most of, I, I fell asleep. I don't know if I've seen the movie all the way through, those three movies. Then the first trilogy, or the, the, it was the second trilogy, but the first set of movies, I saw, uh, I saw most of Phantom Menace, I, I don't remember if I finished it, the other two, I might have seen some of Attack of the Clones, but I don't, I don't know, um, so I'm really not into it, but, but I take these, the pictures, you know, and, or Dark Jedi, you know, I do. And I've realized why this morning when I asked myself. Star Wars is more visually appearing, appealing overall than Star Trek. I mean, Star Trek is very, it's very safe. Um, you've got the uniforms and it's just, it's, it's really... The whole mythology of Star Wars is more open. I mean, it's more flexible, more lived in, is what it looks like. It looks more alive, more tangible. And it's got since the movies were all made, they were made movies. I mean, it's not a TV series. The movies are very visually appealing because. You've got a bigger budget when you make a movie, typically, than when you make a TV show. And they could do more with special effects. And, and it, just, it just looks cool. Jedi stuff looks cool. Dark Jedi stuff. I like the idea of Dark Jedi. Um, and just hood, you know, and grr. It's just, I don't know, for some reason it looks cool. It looks cool. But I don't like it very much. I mean, when whenever I, whenever I'm pushed to decide, I would choose Star Trek, just because I like Star Trek. I mean, it's just this is me. But that's it's all opinion based. There's no fact based. I mean, it's you don't compare the two. Okay, I guess I've talked about that enough.